Right now at 11, police in Ocala asking for your help tonight to bring this man to justice after they say he shot two people at a local mall. Good evening, I'm Molly Reed in for Eric Von Aiken. Thank you for joining us tonight. We were there in Ocala last night after getting reports of a shooting at the Paddock Mall. Scott, Sky 6 was over the scene. You can see the dozens of police units responding to the shooting that killed one man and put a woman in the hospital. The mall was evacuated, horrifying many people who were just trying to get some last minute Christmas shopping done. And now police say they know who was behind the chaos. This man, Albert Shell Jr., New 6's James Barvero, has all new video police are using to piece the investigation together. New video tonight from inside the Paddock Mall as shoppers rush to the aid of 40-year-old David Barron. Ocala police identifying the victim and also now calling Albert Shell Jr. the shooting suspect. Police sharing previous mugshots of the 39-year-old saying Shell faces charges of murder and attempted murder once he's caught. And I don't understand, like, why would they want to kill this young man? Like, it was wrong. Cicely Robertson tells us David Barron was her tattoo artist. She says friends called him dirty. Dirty was a nice per person. He was loving, giving. He'd give you the shirt off his back. He always motivated you to do the right thing, always inspire you, like, take care, you know, somebody you can go and talk to. After shoppers looking for last-minute Christmas gifts ran for their lives, police concluded Shell shot Barron in a targeted attack. During the shooting Saturday, police say Shell also wounded a second person. Police say Shell then ran away from the mall, leaving Barron to die. He was a father, a son, a everything. It's just sad that these kids got to go Christmas without their father. In addition to these surveillance pictures of Shell, police also tell us investigators are now reviewing surveillance video of the shooting. Police offering a $5,000 reward to whoever knows where he is. I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6. James, thank you. Now, police in Ocala are also asking if anyone has seen this man. They say he took Shell's hat from the crime scene. Investigators say the hat contains important DNA evidence. If you know who this is and where he may be, you're asked to call the number on your screen. That's 352-368-STOP. You may be eligible for a $3,000 award.